Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I let you know about a coordinated campaign of 18 malicious extensions that infected a massive 2.3 million users across Chrome and Edge that had been uncovered. Video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And just to let you know that it also seems that to some extent or the other that Firefox is not off the hook because security researchers have now uncovered a malicious campaign targeting Firefox users through extensions. Now, once again, this is quite an in-depth report. So I will leave this linked uh, in the description if you'd like to go check it out more in depth. And if I just head over to a list of malicious Firefox extensions, I'll leave this up while I just carry on. Now, as you may well know, only some extensions are reviewed manually by Mozilla. And apparently the malware campaign used extensions to impersonate legitimate wallet tools from platforms such as Coinbase, Metamask, Trust Wallet, or Ma Monera, according to that post by Koi Security. Now, it also notes that the campaign is still ongoing and that some extensions are still available on the official Mozilla Firefox add-ons repository. And it's also noted that the campaign itself has been active since at least April 2025, according to the researchers. Now, apparently the main method of distributing the extension was through the official extension store that Mozilla maintains. And the malicious extensions, what they do is they extract the wallet credentials directly from the websites they target to send the data to a remote server. So that's how it kind of all takes place. And as mentioned yesterday, the fake extensions kind of copy the branding of the legitimate wallet extensions and they use review inflation to increase the number of positive reviews. So if we just head back to that post and we scroll down to this section, yeah, it's mentioned that one core tactic used was review inflation. Many of the malicious extensions had hundreds of fake five-star reviews far exceeding their actual user base. This tactic makes the extension appear widely adopted and positively reviewed, a key factor in gaining user trust on platforms like the Mozilla add-on store. And if we just zoom in here, we can see that this extension, MetaMask, had over 2,000 five-star reviews using review inflation according to the post. So I'm just putting it out there just to keep everybody on the same page, so to speak, and keeping you posted. And the extensions, as you could see from that list, and by the way, that list will be linked in the description, are mainly wallet tools. So I do think because of that, it won't be affecting the majority, maybe the minority. And if we head down to the final section, it's recommended from this post, install extensions only from verified publishers, treat browser extensions as full software assets. I do agree with that. Use an extension allow list and implement continuous monitoring. So if you are concerned, just use that list to compare a couple of names. And obviously if you see something that you think may be compromised, just delete it. It's not worth it at the end of the day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.